Hello, so today is day two of me at the resort all alone here. And I want to maybe follow up on something I said yesterday in the video um, about controlling our own minds. And one of the things that I learned many years ago that has served me extremely well over the years, uh, and it's something that I need to work on constantly, is to understand that I only have a certain amount of control over what's happening in the world. But something I have total control over is my mind. And at times I do feel as if that is even out of control, but at least it's something that with practice, I think we can become better and better at doing. And this is something that I learned from listening to Jim Rohn. So I'm a huge fan of Jim Rohn videos so and audios. So I suggest if you don't, if you've never heard of him, never read any of his books, saw any of his videos or his audios, I suggest that you have a listen to him. I find that he teaches a lot of great life lessons. And one of the things he mentioned several times in a lot of his books and in a lot of his material is how to finally accept the fact that we're not going to change the world. The world will continue being the way it's always been for the last 4,000 years or so. So if we can't change the world, well, what can we change? But I think it's a matter now of recognizing what are the things that I can change and as it relates to all the things that I cannot change, such as the things I mentioned yesterday in my video, such as the media, the government, the people and things like that. What I can do is control how I see these things and how I will react to all of that. And so I think each of us, whenever we're uh, coming across some negativity or things that we're having a hard time accepting, we have to find a way to deal with that in our own mind and how we react to it. Because like I said, odds are excellent that you will not change the world. You will not change uh, the fact that there's always going to be some people who are going to be difficult on you and so on. So whenever I hear people quit because they're having a hard time dealing with people, well, I keep wondering, well, are you going to keep changing jobs until you find the perfect people? Because there's always going to be those people that are difficult to work with wherever you go. And by the same token, if you're going to fire every, everybody that you've got on your team that doesn't work exactly like you want them to, well, you're going to continue going to be firing people. So at some point in time, I think we have a duty to ourselves to learn how to think and deal with our own mind. So whenever negative things come our way or situation arise that we cannot change and we have no control over and we're finding ourselves going totally nuts about it, we have to determine or find a way to counter that. Now, it doesn't, come in, doesn't always come easy. It sure as heck doesn't come easy to me. But I think there are people out there who can help you with that thinking. And so I've always been inspired by the people who don't let themselves get down, who are always on the up and up and are always optimistic. And these are the kind of people you want to hang out with because the reason they're optimistic is because of the control they have over their own minds, about their ability to see whatever's going on in the world and be able to shift that thinking into something more positive in some which way or form and to learn how to deal with that. So if you're continually having problems dealing with other people, uh, instead of wishing that all these people will change, try to work instead on yourself on how to deal with those difficult people, on how to communicate with them maybe in a different way that will make them less abrasive, on how to think about possibly what they're going through, which would allow you to understand them better. So in other words, rather than continually look at how you can change everybody else around you, concentrate more on changing yourself. And again, easier said than done. But the beauty of that is when I look at it from my point of view, well, I think changing me and my way of thinking is a lot less daunting and a lot more encouraging than thinking I can change everybody else. Because I think I can control myself and I'm confident that with time I will become better and better at controlling my mind and how I see everything in life. And I'm one of the reasons I'm so optimistic about that 
is because I've seen people succeed in doing that. And, and you probably have too. There are those people who are always optimistic and life is always good, regardless of what comes our way. And so I was fortunate enough to see that, especially on my father's side, where everybody there was always optimistic, didn't matter what came their way. So just seeing that gives me hope that it is possible to achieve this Zen or way of thinking that allows you to always have control over your mind. So again, if you're going crazy about anything that's going on in the world, I would strongly recommend that you seek out those books that allows you to regain control of your mind and seek out those people, including those professionals, or psychologists or psychiatrists, who can help you deal with whatever's going on in your life. And this is probably, um, I don't know if I can think of anything better that anybody of us could do if we can master that skill to allow us and ensure that we're happy regardless of what happens in life. I think this is the, one of the best skills that we should learn. And it's unfortunate that not enough people are talking about it and not enough people are being taught how to do that. So just a thought. Um, and again, um, I don't have it all figured out. I'm sure some of you listening to this may have some thoughts on that too, books that you've read, things that you've seen, uh, people that you've heard, maybe some videos on YouTube that are really, really good. So if you have anything like that to share, I would love to hear about it, not only for myself, but I'm sure people who are listening to this video would possibly like to hear other people's thoughts about possible solutions. And so if you could write your comments below, and for those of you listening to this video, if you could check out the comments below to see if there's anybody who wrote something to add to my video, please do. And of course, if you like this video and you found it useful, please do not forget to like it and to subscribe it. And don't forget to work more on your business rather than in your business and make every minute of every day count.